Let's go. Oh, the original cut. There it absolutely is. I might like it better than the 2020 version. What's up, Shoe Fanatics? Hey, I'm excited to be doing this review. Um, hopefully you checked out my copper drop video for the month of September, and I said I was gonna be getting these joints. So um, so far, I'm, I'm good. Only thing I struck out on was the uh, Jordan 7 Chile Greater China joints. Anyway, um, another video I put out was the video that's talking about how to cop for real, and I mentioned uh, Soul Links. And so I follow Soul Links heavy, man. And to be honest with you, Soul Links is the reason why I got this one. Now on the sneakers app, the foot sites, you know, foot action, foot locker, champs, blah, 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 struck out across the board. And um, what ended up happening was I waited about an hour or so and I got a notification again on my phone from Soul Links and it said, you know, size is adding to cart, keep trying, keep trying. And what's happening is with foot, uh, finish lines where I got these from, you know, me and finish line have a love hate relationship, but uh, finish line, you know, they have been doing what they call these uh, ghost orders. So they're like allowing people to check out and then not giving them an order. And so with me, that happened to me a couple of times where I check out, the money would come out of my account and would immediately be refunded. And that happened about four times. Uh, and you know, one of the guys at Soul Link said, hey, you know, if that happens to you, just keep trying. Eventually, you know, something, something should shake. Um, the only thing that they made a misstep was they said that if it happens to you, that typically means your size is sold out. That wasn't the case. I ended up copying in my size from finish line. And after a couple of times, like I mentioned, I was able to pick the shoe up. So here's an unboxing about the shoe. We're getting to the history of it and all that good jazz, but you already know what it is. This is a box from finish line, as I mentioned. I'm gonna get out a little trusty, um, a trusty knife cutter here. It's actually a box cutter, but you know, let's get that thing cracking. Uh, cut this tape. Like I said, man, you know, I struck out on the foot sites and on sneakers app, which was really disappointing because uh, I had, you know, sneakers app blessed me with the uh, biohack joints, man. And uh, that wasn't meant to be this time. So if you're pulling this out, you already know, we do to these boxes, you want to move these boxes out of here, these boxes out of here, you know what I mean? Cast those aside. And uh, now the shoe box, I really like the shoe box. I really, really, really like the shoe box. Uh, this is obviously the special edition box. I think the first time I saw this particular box was I got the Reflections of a Champion 6. And that's the first time that I actually got this box. And I've been trying to see what else comes with it uh, since then. I think I have one or two more. Maybe not. But I think typically this box signifies a special edition shoe. So uh, let's get right into it. The, the uh, tag reads Air Jordan 5 Retro SC Special Edition. Colorway, apple green, black, black. Size 11 personal pair, retails for $225. I know that price alone scared a lot of people off from this shoe. They didn't, you know, quite see what the fuss was about. But uh, real quick, so this is the apple green, obviously. You click on this video, you know, you know what it is. Um, let's go ahead and pull it out. Let's go ahead and pull it out. Pop the top. There's nothing on the inside but that darkness. Darkness, everyone. Uh, but, uh, there is that black wax paper, just so you know, if anybody's ordering from StockX or GOAT, you know. Oh, there is a, oh, I lied, there's a QC stamp that says, uh, what's that say? OC22, okay. So that's right here on the inside. There is a QC stamp. So check that out. There is a QC stamp on the inside too. Peel back the black wax paper and there's white wax paper. And these are just as good as I hope they will be. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to proudly present to you the Air Jordan 5 Apple Green, aka Oregon Ducks. There you have it, man. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous shoe. Check that guy out. Now, all right, so let's get in right into it. First and foremost, this shoe, obviously, if you don't know, so obviously it's not the right word. This shoe is a replica of the Jordan 5 Oregon player exclusive shoe. Now I'm gonna try to put that shoe up here, all right? Now, player exclusives, uh, I, got, I got real into in depth about that shoe with my Jordan 7 Ray Allen. 
uh, which this kind of takes a cake as far as replica shoes is concerned. Anyway, uh, the, the player exclusive is a shoe that's made just for the team or, or the player signed to Jordan Brand or who have a close relationship with relationship with Jordan Brand. So the Oregon Ducks, I think the Michigan Wolverines, Georgetown Hoyas, and I think obviously uh, North Carolina Tar Heels, they have great relationships with Jordan Brand. So Jordan Brand sends them PEs, player exclusives. And so a lot of times the shoe will be a Jordan 5 or whatever silhouette, and it will be something tailored to the player or the school themselves. In the case of the Jordan 5 Oregon, there is actually the Jordan, uh, excuse me, the Oregon Duck mascot that is stitched on the back heel, which I, you know, it's probably best if I put it up. It's a stitched uh, duck on the back heel, and there is a pretty cool O, the Oregon O, that font, on the tongue of the Jordan 5. Now, aside from that, the shoe is damn near identical. There are some different color, uh, some small, small, small color differences on the netting, which is, uh, I'll go ahead and put it here, which has got that soft netting, which I like. And on the uh, sole, I think the sole is different color. I think the sole has either a, a darker bottom with a red jump man or something on the inside of it. And then overall, the uh, green, I think is a, a, a smidge, a, a, a tint, a small hue different green than what's on this apple green joint. So, you know, obviously Nike, I don't think they can go around calling this the Oregon PE because, you know, that would uh, diminish the Oregon PE that they put out for the team. But once the community gets a hold of what this shoe is, obviously they're going to call it what, you know, it is intended to be. So the difference is with this shoe, as I mentioned, is that instead of the Oregon mascot on the back, it does have this stitched uh, part back here, the stitched little patch. Now, I passed on the Michigan Fives which I kind of regret. Um, I was being a little bit more budget conscious. I didn't think I had to have that one. So the Michigan 5 was the first one that I saw that had the patch on the back and people hated it, right? People did not like that patch. And so that was kind of a turn off for this shoe as well. Now real quick on the back, it does say uh, Team Jordan or Team Jumpman, quality products inspired by the greatest basketball, basketball player ever. Put that into the camera. So that, you know, rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. Um, and then again, no Oregon. Now I'm gonna also, now, that's, a, that's pretty slick. Okay, so the, as far as the materials and the construction of the shoe is concerned, this is a nice uh, suede here, and it does feel like a, a shorter hair suede. I don't know exactly what I was expecting, but it is a shorter hair suede than what is on the alternate grape five, which I have way at the top there. I'm not gonna pull it out right now. But it is a shorter hair but does still feel pretty nice in hand. That is the truth. Regular flat black laces on the front here, which are pretty nice. And uh, in particular, right now I have the flash on because I believe what's supposed to be happening is this should be a 3M reflective tone, which I really, really like. I think it stands out. And one of the best parts about the Jordan 5 is the tone. You know, like I said, Jordan brand laces, laces these things up tight from the factory. But I always think a Jordan uh, 5 should have the tongue, you know, perpendicular or, or out. And hopefully that's reflecting that uh, that light. But I think that looks slick. What I also like is there's this dark plastic on the uh, lace lock here, or the lace holder. It's that dark translucent color, which is pretty cool with the black lace lock itself. Uh, the netting here, which I think is also um, similar, but has a small differences to the player exclusive, is a darker netting with a black background behind it. I'm gonna try to put up a picture again of the PE to show what the difference is between those. So there's that netting. But the eyelets are again, a uh, hard plastic black, uh, which is uh, I think also similar to the, uh, to the PE. And what I really like I said I like a lot of things about this shoe. This is a dope shoe, all right? What I like about this shoe too is that the sock liner on it has this, I guess they call it a hound's tooth, um, you know, pattern there, which I does, I do think mimics the actual PE, which is a nice, nice, nice touch. The hound's tooth pattern is pretty fire, man. And it's got that, you know, a little bit of reflectivity uh, in the material. So it's really, really dope. Really, really dope. Again, the colors are apple green and uh, they omitted the yellow. So I don't know what color yellow this is, but this is yellow 
on the uh, shark's teeth here. And again, that is the University of Oregon's team colors, green and yellow. Black rubber outsole, and that surrounds the entire shoe. On the bottom, we have a dope translucent sole. And this is the same color on the inside as what's on, I believe, the alternate Bel Air joints. So I think it's either a very, very dark blue or black. Something leads me to believe that it is black, and it probably is. The Jumpman is black on that one. That's pretty well. So yeah, on the inside oh, too, uh, you know, Jordan brand does like to put stitching or uh, tags on the back of the tongue. And this particular one, if you flip it back over, it does say elevate. Elevate your game, elevate your mind. Really, really nice. Uh, hopefully, yeah. And also, too, man, like the shoe keeps going, man. I'm going to pull out the, the shoe insert if I can. Again, try to open this guy up a little bit more. Uh, but on the interior, the insole is a yellow color that matches the shark's teeth. And it has a black jump. What's this uh, paper? Let's maybe start putting paper in there. Uh, it's a yellow jump man. I'm sorry, yellow insole with the black joint on the inside. And again, that insole does in fact have the hound suit uh, pattern, just like the sock liner does. I think it's a nice touch. And so I was going on and on in my Jordan 7 Ray Allen review, which you haven't seen yet, about how close it was to a PE that we were going to get, minus the actual material on that shoe. That shoe was a uh, suede shoe in Ray Allen's actual PE was a leather shoe. Um, but this to me, and again, you know, I'm, I'm new to the game, so I don't quite know the ins and outs of PEs. This is just a great, fantastic, well-constructed shoe. It mimics the original PE. And, you know, as a standalone shoe, even if the PE didn't exist, the attention to detail put in these shoes, I think is worth it. Just to be sure that there are, these are just regular plastic aglets or lace tips on the end of the laces. Uh, what else am I looking for? I'm going to open up. Oh, so there's a Zoom Air unit there. It should be noticeable there with a clear see-through bottom on it. Right? And just for those curious, I don't know if anyone has done it, but I'm pretty sure if you cut this patch off, it's probably just a flat green back there. Uh, you know, I understand that they have to do something to maybe make it not so much like the PE. What would have been really dope if there was a Stitch 23 there in black and yellow. I'm sure some customizer will eventually get around to doing that. But that would be really dope and take the shoe up uh, several notches in my humble opinion. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the other shoe out and see if there's anything different, uh, at least on the inside. Uh, just as far as the tongue is concerned, sometimes the words are, you know, they're different words. And this one also says elevate. Now, you know, if I, you know like I said, I got this shoe. You saw the unboxing. Uh, the left shoe does have some wrinkling on it. Which is, you know, I'm not sure what that's about. I'm not sure if the light's gonna pick that up or not. But uh, it looked like the shoe was tried on. It looks like the shoe was tried on. I don't know. It does smell good though. Man, you can't beat that suede, that new, that new suede smell. It's like that, it's like the new car smell, man. I'm rubbing my finger on it. I'm gonna see if you guys uh, notice anything about the motion of it. Let's just see. Do you guys see any uh, motion in the ocean here? Any motion there? I don't know. It does feel good though. It does feel premium. It does feel premium. So as far as fit is concerned, uh, it is, you know, true to size like most Jordan 5s. Uh, the shoe can be a little tight, um, but I think it's for, you know, uh, comfort and stability more so than anything. I'm not quite sure the performance of the shoe. I mentioned in my videos, I don't play basketball competitively like at all uh, anymore. And it, I, obviously I would never play in this anyway. But, you know, I'm wondering if, uh, I'm wondering if someone can get use out of this on the court. Otherwise, you know, the construction again feels really good. The plastic on the tongue does feel really good too. And again, I'm hoping that reflective uh, quality is pulling through on the camera. Dope, 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 dope. What else is there that can be said about this? So there is this. So the sneaker community 
well, this this shoe exposed a lot about the sneaker community. Um, and I think I'm gonna go on a little rant for two minutes. This shoe exposed some of the toxicity of the sneaker community. This was a fire shoe, point blank period. It's a dope shoe and uh, it's been restocking. Now, we know prior to COVID, you used to be able to walk into a store, pick up the shoes, try them on. If you don't like them, you don't like them, but you moved on. But today, everyone fancies themselves resellers because they have access more so to online pairs and they don't have to put the work in to get to the stores like they used to. So the short story is these guys have been restocking uh, maybe once every two or three days since they released. And people are starting to trash the shoe by calling them bricks as if the shoe is not a good shoe. This shoe is a fantastic shoe. It's great. It's a must for a collector. I always try to give you, is it a cop or drop? Uh, it's a cop for me. It's a cop to stay in my collection. If you don't have disposable income or you, you, only, you can only pick one shoe per month or every six months, maybe you can take your time and purchase this. But for a collection, it's absolutely a must have. The shoe is not a brick. The shoe is a fantastic shoe, but Nike made enough quantity and stores aren't selling out because they're combating bots, canceling orders, doing all types of different things to make sure that people who really want the shoe can get a pair in hand. So don't be discouraged about naysayers on Instagram and Twitter who call the shoe a brick and maybe want to detract you from purchasing the shoe. It is definitely worth it, all right? I'm just giving you my opinion. Obviously, you don't have to follow it, but if you click this video, you're here just to hear what I got to say. And I think you should have this shoe, all right? So that does answer the question. Out of a 10, I do think the shoe is probably a solid eight and a half. Uh, and Jordan Brand has made me a fan of fives here in the year 2020. Now, that shouldn't be too hard to do because 2020 uh, is the 30th anniversary of when the Fire Red 5 and the debut of Jordan 5 came out. So they've been going hard with Jordan 5s. Uh, so I picked up like four Jordan 5s this year but they're fantastic in their construction and they're doing really well. This is a good shoe and I think it's a great eight and a half to a nine. You should definitely pick the shoe up. Uh, other than that, man, you know, I appreciate you guys sticking around. Uh, this channel's slowly growing. Thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna put this in the, in the, in the collection here and it keep growing. Uh, follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Uh, follow me here, hit the, hit the subscribe button. And I appreciate you guys, man. I don't have no other words. Pick these guys up. They are a must cop to me if you're a collector. All right. This has been the Jordan 5 uh, Apple Green, a.k.a. Oregon Duck player exclusive. I appreciate you and I'm out of here. Peace.